This movie should be a help if you're getting started with the infrared sensor and the beacon. So the first thing you need to do is get a sensor block and you want to get the infrared sensor so you can drag it up and uh, put it where you want it to be. Uh, you'll want to choose the mode that you want to use and what you want to do is measure beacon like that and this gives you a number of choices. Uh, one, you or set the channel, we'll use channel one. Second is a data, this is data from the sensor that you can get out using a wire. This one happens to do with heading. This one has to do with proximity. And finally, whether it's detected it, whether it's found the, the beacon uh, someplace in its site. So that's what you need for the beacon. Now, when your tracker is connected to the computer, you'll see in the hardware page, there here are the motors for driving the, the tracker. And this is the sensor that is attached. This is the infrared sensor. Uh, if you click on that, you have a choice of what you want the data displayed to show. There's a display of what is coming from the sensor. I've turned the beacon on already and you want to look at beacon heading. And you can see when I choose that that there's a number right above the icon for the beacon. If the beacon is straight ahead of the sensor you get a reading of zero or close to zero. If you go far to the left, you get a reading of up to minus 25. I'm not seeming to get that high now. If you go far to the right, you get a reading of plus, and you can use these different headings to operate a motor to steer your robot. You may want to use a loop, which is a flow control device. And you may want to put your sensor inside that and then add a motor of some sort and connect the sensor to the motor and use that to control your steering. I think that's most of what you need to know to complete this assignment. Have fun.